In this video, you're gonna see exactly how to tie the loop knot that I believe every angler who uses artificial lures needs to know. And at the end, I'll explain to you exactly why this knot has proven to be better than the other loop knots. So first of all, let's go ahead and, uh, and just tie it. This is called the non-slip loop knot. The first step is, is really just to not even focus on the lure, but just uh, put a simple overhand loop in the line. An overhand loop is just, you know, it's basically just creating the most basic of all loops on the line. And uh, to make it as easy as possible, I recommend having about maybe four inches or so of tag end going off here to the left. So now at this point, we can go ahead and, uh, and grab our lure and, uh, and thread the, the line through the eye. And I just like to let the lure just rest right up there against the knot. And as far as the size, you know, this is how you determine the size of your loop. I like to have it about, you know, at this point, a, a little bit, uh, a little bit smaller than the size of like an M&M. Um, so, so now we need to thread the line through this, uh, this loop. And the proper way to do it is if we look closely, uh, you can see that the face, you know, the face on the left side is, is aimed downward. And the, and the right side, the, the face is pointing upwards. So we want to go through the downward side. So on the bottom, uh, when we're going up, we want to go through this left side, which, is, uh, which has the, the face of that, of that loop facing down. So we go straight through it, can pull it back up towards the, uh, the eye of the hook, uh, size it properly, and now we're going to just, just hold it into place with our, with our left hand. So now we have our tag in heading out to the right and our main line heading out to the right as well. So at this point, we, uh, we just get the tag in and wrap it around the main line three to four times. Uh, I do three times for lines over 40 pounds and I'll do four wraps for, uh, for lines under, under 40 pounds. So now we have those wraps and as you can see, they're all going in the same direction. They're not overlapping one another. Again, very important not to overlap. And so now we have this tag end and we need to go back through this loop and uh, we're gonna go from the, the right to the left this time. We're going, we wanna go through the upward facing side on, when you're going back down. So go right through that loop, just like slow, and then start to pull the, uh, you know, the lines all tight together. Um, just do finger tight right now. Now we're gonna go ahead and, and wet the line. So now that the line is wet, we're gonna go ahead and just cinch it down a little bit more, pulling on all strands. And now we're gonna let go of the tag end and just hold on tight with the, with the main line and just pull as, as far as you can to cinch it all down. You can see that it's now, uh, it's now cinched down, the knot is complete. Final step is simply to cut off the tag. So what I really like about this knot, other than the fact that it's very strong, is that the tag end is facing back towards the lure. You can see that tag end pointing it literally straight backwards. And the benefit of that is that if you're fishing in an area with like seagrass or other type of floating debris on the water, you know, the line is eventually gonna, gonna grab it and it's gonna go down the line. And if your tag end is pointed, you know, if it's pointed straight up or, uh, or worse, if it's, going, if it's going forward, like back towards the, uh, the main line, um, that, that debris is gonna snag on to the, the tag end of the knot. And this one is a streamlined knot. Tag is totally back toward the lure. It's not gonna snag onto weeds and you're gonna be able to, to have more time uh, fishing and less time getting, uh, getting stuff off of your lure. So if you have not yet tried this knot out, I highly recommend it, give it a shot right now. And I actually have a, a free PDF download that you can, uh, you can print out and just have with you whenever you need it in case you, uh, you forget one of the steps, you can see clear directions on a, on a printable document. I'll put a link down below for that. And if you want to see exactly how this knot compares to other similar knots like this, we do have a, a ranking of knots based on strength for each line connection and each line type. So I highly recommend checking it out. It's on our website. You'll see a link for, uh, for knots. That's it for now. Leave a question down below if you have any. Otherwise, I hope you can get out of the water soon and catch the big ones. Live salt strong and wear the line today.